hey y'all so it is monday happy monday i literally just finished my skin routine i am in bed what time is it picking up my phone with my feet it is 10 23 i'm gonna try to go to sleep early because y'all i'll be up like two o'clock three o'clock in the morning i'll be up and it's really not good because I have to wake up at least an hour early um, before I have to head to work just because of how far my drive is and me being up all night just puts a damper in your morning when you haven't gotten enough sleep so I'm gonna try to call it a night now but I just wanted to check in with y'all tell y'all hey and also tell you guys thank you so so much for the support on my last vlog got 200 views in one day and usually it takes me like two three days to reach 200 views we usually would reach 100 views in a day but 200 in one day is crazy and I really thank y'all and appreciate y'all hopefully we can get to 500 600 views in one day but um we'll get there just wanted to check in with y'all i did my own lashes let me zoom in can y'all see why is it not zooming why is my zoom not working i don't know anyways but i did my own lashes you guys what do y'all think got the kit off of amazon and i just put them on this one is irritating me right now but that's because one fell off but i did um yesterday and one came off today but that's about it when i was trying to like fix them the inner corner came off that's why i had to fix it but i think it's like kind of on my uh what is it called my tear duct i forgot what it's called so it's irritating me i'm gonna fix that later but right now I'm about to call it a night, so I'll see y'all later. I just wanna feel love Hey y'all, so it is Wednesday. I don't know what they got doing going down there. Just turned out here. But yeah, y'all, it is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. I just finished filming a video right now. I'm about to go see my boyfriend. I don't know what we're about to do just wanted to check in um with you all today i kind of just been chilling around the house it's three o'clock and i'm just getting out the door filmed the video i don't know if i said that already edited it and now i was posting it usually what i do when i'm leaving the house and i'm trying to post a video i'll have another three hour like asmr video playing in the background so my computer doesn't lock and then I just leave it up and it normally just posts without any problem. But yeah, y'all, God is good. I'm so thankful to be off and to be alive and healthy and just to be able to enjoy my day. Usually I'm, all, I'm always on the go on Wednesdays, um, especially in the morning, like I'll go to the gym or something. But today I kind of just was chilling around. So thankful for that. Whatever I do end up doing, I'll be sure to vlog it and I'll see y'all later. Hey y'all, so it is later in the day. As you guys saw earlier, we went to Fibers, me and my boyfriend. And then I also went to Ulta, but I forgot my camera in the car. So I'm gonna show y'all what I got real quick. So I got these acne spot dots from Peach Slices. So basically, um what they called pimple patches but not pimple patches so i got these because i got two little blemishes on my face and then the next thing i got is this alpha arbutin two percent with hyaluronic acid from the ordinary i love this product so so much this has helped me with all the stubborn dark spots on my face it also has hyaluronic acid for hydration I love this so much. I don't know. Well, I do know why I stopped using it. Y'all know I have my skincare thing and I had been using other stuff. So I got this and yeah, everything that I got. Oh, let me turn off my car because my boyfriend's pumping my gas. Hey y'all. So it is Friday, no Thursday. Um, I have been off for a couple of hours. Um, 
yeah today y'all i had the craziest morning so this morning my tire blew out on me and i'm about to show y'all a picture because it was really really bad but y'all life is crazy things happen that you can't prevent you just gotta stay prayed up in this world you know what i mean like I feel like the old me at any inconvenience I would literally just bawl and cry and just put myself in a place where you know like everything is just going wrong and da 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 da, da. but now I feel like there's a solution to almost everything you know what I mean and I'm not saying if something tragic happens to you that you can't get mad or you can't get frustrated about it but a lot of the times, I don't know, I feel like sometimes we feel better when we just feel like the world's crashing down on us instead of just like figuring figuring it out and knowing that there is a solution. Why am I going to freak out? Of course, I freaked out in that moment, moment and was panicking because, oh my God, my tire blew out and I'm in the middle of the highway and I have to get to the side of the road before somebody hits my car but after the fact like i know that i have people i can count on to come and help me and save me um so i'm learning that like not every situation has to be so deep like i said it was scary in certain situations do cause for some emotions um because i've been in a car accident before and that came with a lot of emotion and yeah but i'm just saying i don't think everything should be so well for me personally i think i would just always make the situation worse by crying but that always was my first instinct was to cry but now that i'm getting older i'm just you know starting to think about things before i react like with crying and in that moment that was the first time I actually thought like that like I felt my eyes welling up like I was about to cry but I just sucked it up because I knew help was on the way and I knew if that help wasn't on the way I could have got more and I just knew that like as soon as help come it would have been like it never happened so I'm learning that um learning to apply that in every aspect of life not just with that but with everything like if somebody pisses me off or something happens I'm learning not to dwell on things you know what I mean like it happened I could set them straight and I could move forward but I'm not about to sit in that because when I sit in stuff then I start thinking about all the things that has happened that was wrong and then I get in a bad mental space and I can't have that but that was my morning and shout out to my man because he is a I got cold in my eye he is a very solution based person and I feel like being with him and being around him and seeing how he moves just helped me learn to like snap out of it and just do what I need to do and like I said that doesn't mean that you cannot have times where you just don't feel like being strong or you don't feel like finding a solution you want to lean on people but 80% of the time you got to do it the other 20 you could be emotional but 80% you gotta just tighten up but anyways let me show y'all my tire y'all it's it's bad <laughs> it's not even funny i'm so proud of myself y'all for holding it down and not getting emotional because the old me on i would have been like oh my god my life is over i can't believe this but anyways here is my tire y'all she buzzed wide open like can y'all see that she tore up she is tore up but god was on my side god was covering me it could have been way worse i could have not made it to the side of the road somebody could have hit me i could have lost control of my steering wheel by being emotional and crying so many things could have happened but i thank god for covering me in my car and covering the other drivers i also thank him for not letting it be worse than what it was i also thank him for making me alert in that situation and just making me do what i need to do i thank him for the people in my life who were in place to come and help me 
I thank him for life. I thank him for me still being here. I thank him for my car still being intact. I thank him for having a donut in my car to be replaced. I like there's just so many things. So many things to be grateful for. So it all ties into what I said. Like I have so many other things to put my focus on. I can't let that one thing just change the whole you know my whole day and I literally have made a post the other day on IG and I was like when I'm having a bad day da 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 and then one of my mutuals her name is I'm pretty sure her name is Shayla yeah she was like not a bad day a bad moment don't let whatever it is consume your entire day and that's so true having when you say you're gonna have things nine times out of ten you do because you claimed it so i don't want to say i'm having a bad day i'm just having a bad moment or a bad time but that doesn't mean the remainder of my day is going to be bad so that's just a message for y'all you know i'm not always the most positive person i have my moments where i can complain okay baby i can be negative i can be a negative nancy okay i can be a complaining carrie but it's like i'm just realizing what's important and what's not so yeah that's my day i'm about to get up get some to eat i am starving my marvin um and yeah my lashes are still going strong y'all i feel like i don't know if i told y'all about that but um yeah and maybe i'll start editing this video the last video that i posted was about my small leather goods collection is doing horrible but that comes with the that comes with the territory you win some and you lose some can't win them all so i ain't really tripping about that whoever finds it and watches it and loves it you know great but if you don't it is what it is i feel like that's something i ain't even about to complain about either like views either it hit or it don't like i feel like i know what i need to do to make it hit or I feel like I'm trying, I'm putting out quality, so I ain't even gonna fixate on what's doing well or not. Cause I feel like when I do that, that puts me in a bad place too. Like always worrying about who watching, who not watching. Like that junk is annoying. But <sighs> yeah, I just wanted to check in with y'all. I'm trying to also find my halloween nails because i booked my appointment for october y'all i forgot that it was fall so when i got these nails i wasn't even thinking about fall or anything i was just thinking i want my nails done and it's been a couple of weeks even though these eat like every day almost i get a compliment on my nails but i sh i wish i would have done fall but it's okay hopefully i can find something real cute with halloween but everything I'm finding is like very much boring and basic. Or I'm finding a lot of scream nails. Oh, I'm just messing up my camera. A lot of scream nails. And I already did scream nails last year. So I don't want to do that again this year. And then I don't really like blood on the nails. Even though I did have blood on my nails last year, it was pink. Why is my camera doing that? what was happening y'all anyways i kept going on to focus i could show y'all some of the ideas that i had in my phone i also feel like tonight i'm going to start watching scandal again because when i was in my nail tech suite when i got my nails done she was watching scandal and then i was sitting to myself thinking like i forgot how good scandal was like scandal was really that show and I need that in my life. I haven't watched anything really on Netflix in a, in a minute that I really got hooked on besides The Lincoln Lawyer. And I finished it. So I need something good to watch. So I think we're going to watch that. But these nails is what I saw. Hold on. And yeah. But. I'm gonna come back y'all i'll see y'all later my boyfriend calling me good morning guys so it is friday happy friday um right now i am at work yeah i'm just waiting outside till it's time for me to go inside i got my coffee 
my cup of the day this just makes me so happy when i have like all my different cups to like choose from and i just i'm searching on which one like fits my mood for today so yeah i mean it's like a um coconut caramel cold brew i feel like that's like my favorite flavor at the moment and then i use the chobani dairy free sweet cream creamer but yeah um today the drive was pretty good y'all already know about my whole tire situation that i went through yesterday so the drive today was really really good um i'm trying to see what else i want to talk to you guys about before i go inside y'all know i got monetized woo, woo, woo. and i'm trying to figure out like what's going to be my gift to myself um i did go to dick's the other day i don't know if i told y'all to see the new stanley cups and i did see them i don't know if i told y'all or if i showed y'all but i'm gonna show y'all again so these are the hot pink ones that i saw at dick's i don't think this would be like a gift to myself i think this would just be something that i get myself the real gift that i want to give myself is this coach bag that i found but it is unfortunately sold out so it's like i can't get myself my gift because for one the stanley cup that i saw those were cute those were the new ones but it was like a gradient one that i really really wanted and they didn't have it but then i was scrolling on tiktok yesterday and i saw this one and I think this may be like a Target exclu ooh, exclusive. So as you can see, it's like a baby pink with like a pink, hot pink handle and then hot pink um, logo. So I was like, hmm, I might just wait on that one because I feel like I did show y'all this last night. I don't know. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna just wait on the one that I just showed y'all for next month's release instead of trying to hunt down that gradient one because i feel like this one looks better and then as far as the coach bag as a gift um i hit on their website to notify me when it comes back in stock so hopefully it comes back in stock soon because i feel like that may be or that will be the perfect gift for myself just because i feel like you should celebrate every single milestone even if you get yourself something small, you don't have to go crazy and get a bag. But I feel like you should just celebrate yourself, treat yourself. So that's what I want to do. Also today, hanging out with my friend. We're going to go get seafood. I haven't had seafood in, oh, excuse me, in a minute at a restaurant. I feel like it's been like over a month. So I'm going to chit chat with her, catch up with her. It's been a while since we had dinner and just caught up. So I'm doing that. As soon as I get off work, I'm going to meet her there. So I'll probably get there around 6.30. And then tomorrow, I think I, I, I'm hanging out again. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah. I also need to get my hair done. As you guys can see, I changed my hair from the curly wig to this one. Just because, I don't know my hair was blending with the curly wig but i haven't had like leave out with curly hair since high school and i feel like it's hard for me to blend it just because i haven't worked with blending my hair with weave hair curly hair in a minute so i finally found a method well my mom helped me find it but it will only last two days and it will be crusty and then throughout the day my hair would just poof up because i have like 4b 4c hair yeah 4b 4c so i feel like my hair would just poof up and it would just be looking crazy like i can show y'all a picture of my hair literally poofing up throughout the day like in the morning <laughs> i'm gonna show y'all so here's a picture <laughs> In the morning, it was fine. You know, we look blended. And then, <laughs> look at my hair. Don't mind the crumbs on my face. And then look at my hair later that evening. So it was like it would stay in the morning. 
and then in the evening it would just poof up and it's just like i don't want to walk around looking crazy and i just could not figure out how to do it and i just didn't have time so i think i'm gonna get me some braids this weekend just because me and my boyfriend are going to the springs next week and i don't want to deal with my hair that's always that's why i always have protective styles because dealing with my hair is annoying so yeah that's a little catch up with me all the things that i want um stanley cups and purses and you know so i'm about to go in here it's time for me to go um i hope you guys have had a great week and i hope you guys take what i said yesterday to heart just to not let crazy moments make you have a crazy day so i will see you guys a little bit later once we make it to crafty crab and yeah bye hey y'all hopefully y'all can hear me i'm speaking really loud because of the angle but um i'm just leaving work y'all why did i come outside of my job to my tire being flat so i literally one of my co-workers i love her so much she's not just a co-worker she's a friend i love her so much she stayed with me and we went to panera um to wait um for some assistance so i end up just getting and it was a y'all it's just a long story anyways end up putting the spare tire on we'll get the tire fixed again tomorrow um i told you i was supposed to be meeting my friend for seafood but everybody was telling me to still go like i shouldn't like i just gave y'all a speech about that so it's like the lord just y'all it's not one thing it's another so if i'm gonna tell y'all something i gotta practice what i what i preach so i'm still gonna <laughs> go get seafood with my friends so that's what i'm doing but seeing that outside was devastating because i'm like okay everything's good we all fixed just for me to come back to the drama but um i'll see you guys once we make it to the seafood place just wanted to <laughs> come and catch y'all up on my day because baby i am being tested but i am being a faithful servant because everything is always going to work out so yeah see you later Finally though, I'm eating seafood. It was so freaking good. And now I'm on my way home. I can't wait to get home and take a shower. I didn't even do anything that I wanted to do. Well, not anything that I wanted to do. I had some things that I wanted to order. And y'all know sometimes, well, I don't know if y'all know, but sometimes, let me turn it off. Ooh, my camera's not, but sometimes Amazon will um overnight your stuff i feel like if they already have it in the factory so i had some things that i wanted to overnight but i never ordered it because my tire got flat and i was just distracted and i came straight to get seafood um <laughs> so i'm gonna go home and start looking at my car and see what i could get i really wanted one of these little gym outfits to be overnighted because i plan on going to the gym in the morning but i really don't even know we'll see maybe i'll go if my mom goes or take her car because i gotta get my tire fixed in the morning but um i'm gonna go home take my shower um order my stuff i'm out of focus my camera's on y'all it's falling but order my stuff y'all can't even see me girl order my stuff um my camera tripping out of focus and it's doing it again uh and then watch Scandal. I told y'all I'm re-watching Scandal. So, I will see y'all in the morning because today is just crazy. So, bye. Hey, y'all. So, I don't know if you guys saw. I just left out of Ulta. only got two things because I was just in here the other day. I ended up getting this brow glue from NYX. I tried this before. And it didn't work for me but then i end up doing something and it kind of like activated it and i don't remember what i did so i'm gonna have to look up some tutorials on how to properly use this when i get home but i just got the transparent one 
um just because i feel like my eyebrows are pretty dark naturally so i didn't really want to get a colored one and then the next thing i got was this yummy gloss by covergirl it looks so pretty it's like this pretty pink it's coming up darker than what it is in real life and this is in the shade sugar poppy i'm about to try it it looks so cute i was gonna get a fancy gloss but i was like oh girl i do not feel like spending 21 dollars on a gloss right now oh okay smells good um it doesn't really come at us nothing that's one thing i hate sometimes it's like a lot of colors don't be showing up on my lips like it just look like clear gloss like it don't look like the color in the thing i really have to get a new sd card i ran out of storage anyways i was gonna say a little gloss little concealer you know just to spruce up the lashes a little bit more but this i don't know it just looks like it smells like coconut but it looks like regular clear gloss to me and the the fancy one that i tried it was like hot cherry it came up pink on me so i feel like with my lips since my lips are darker like they're purple i feel like i have to get lips glosses that are like deep red in color because they at least show up pink on my lips but stuff like this doesn't really show but i'll make it work i'll probably use like a brown lip liner and a nyx gloss like y'all i used to do my makeup back in the day should i insert some pictures i used to i used to hook myself up so i feel like since i don't do it that much i be forgetting that girl you you really know what you're doing so i can't really wear this by itself to get that pretty pink color i'll just have to add some stuff so i don't know i'm gonna keep it though it's pretty it's glossy it's not sticky it's cute even if i don't do the makeup and i have my lashes done and I um make my brows go up, baby. Eat earrings on, I'll be eating. But now we are about to go to um Dicks so I can look at their Stanleys. I just want to see y'all. It's Saturday, I'm bored, and then we're gonna go to um this little boutique that sells um pandora charms hey y'all so i'm just convinced that i just don't need to buy anything for myself with this monetization or just period because i told y'all i was gonna come to get the charm from the boutique as i'm approaching there's a nail salon right next door the lady goes oh they're closed they went out of business two months ago i said excuse me so i was just like oh my god okay whatever um the other thing I'm not going to the official Pandora, which is in the mall, because that's about 30 minutes away. And I just don't feel like it. And I just don't think it's that deep. Like, of course, I want it. But, or I want to browse around. But it's not worth me going there, for real, for real. And deep down, deep down, I really want my bag. And it's kind of just making up for it, even though I've been wanting a charm. I haven't been wanting a charm. Like, I would never want a charm as much as I want a bag. Let's be so for real right now. Like so at this point i'm about to try to find something to eat and go home i also went inside of marshall's just to browse around there wasn't really nothing like i'm a type of person i like instant gratification i need something right now i don't want to wait for nothing i want to buy stuff right now like i that makes me feel good when i have things right now like even ordering the perfume i want it now like i don't want to wait even though I know how it smells, I know how it lasts, I know how it performs, I want it now. So, my, root is, my, my mood is ruined. I can order the charm, I can go to, I just don't want to do that. Like, I like to get my stuff now, and I just don't want to drive across town for it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I didn't even want to drive out here if we, if we being for real. Like, I didn't even want to come out here, but I was like, I haven't really done anything today besides see my boyfriend earlier today 
and we got food but now i'm about to just go um get me something else to eat i'm trying to think what i want i don't want to get out of my car no more only to get out and go inside of my house so i don't know what i'm about to eat but i know i'm about to get something and go home finish editing i tried to i've been telling y'all i've been trying to watch scandal like the past few days just for me to figure out it's not even on netflix it's on hulu and I don't want to pay for another... Well, I don't even play for, pay for Netflix no more. So, I probably can just bite the bullet and pay for Hulu. So, that's going to be my night. Because at this point, I'm just done. Like, the Lord don't want me to buy nothing. Like, why? <sighs> Anyways, let's go get some food. And I'll probably just go get my food. And this will probably be the end of the video. Because I really don't have nothing else to say and i and i'm not really going to be doing much so thank you guys so so much for watching i appreciate you all so much god is good keep them in your life just just stay prayed up out in these streets i know it's hard out here everything's expensive um life happens things get thrown your way you know every day but you you just got to remain faithful you got to remain strong keep your head in the game anything that you want to do don't just think things are going to come to you you have to put in that work even when things happen just keep keep trying to chase your dreams um and accomplish your goals you know what i mean like try to find the beauty in everything you know and yeah i feel like that was the whole um theme of this vlog is just rolling with the punches you know what i mean being positive even when you feel like you've been thrown or you've been thrown so many negatives so i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys so so much for supporting like i said and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week bye